Hello, my name is Robert Cousins and I'm coming to you from uh, AMET Company Limited. Uh, today, I would like to introduce you to our vibration meter, model number EN212. Uh, this is the case in which the meter comes. It's a padded case and it's IP65, uh, it's waterproof. Okay, so let's now take a look inside the case and see what, what comes inside. Okay, as you can see, the case is padded. It's padded both at the bottom and at the top. And uh, in the back right here is your uh, user manual. There's a user manual in English as well as a user manual in Thai language as well as your calibration certificate. Okay, now this is the vibration meter, the EN212. Uh, this is the, your padded um, headphone. It comes with a padded headphone. Uh, this is uh, the USB charger. Uh, you plug it in and uh, you can charge the unit. This is the cable. Uh, you can use uh, this charger for charging the unit as well as you can use the uh, USB-A right here and use your computer to charge it. This unit will charge it much quicker. Uh, this is the... Um, accelerometer it's an IEPE accelerometer on a mil C5015 uh, connector and it has a BNC connector to connect to the top of the vibration meter right here it also has a magnet that you can use with the accelerometer right here and it also has a spike that's good for uh, listening to roller bearings okay so there you go that's your package new package there okay all right okay so now let's take a look at the uh, vibration meter uh, taking some measurements uh, now we're taking a measurement in um, units of uh, acceleration and the units are in G as you can see on the top left corner, it's displaying the crest factor. Uh, now we're inputting a sine wave on the, the shaker over here. And so uh, the crest factor is going to be somewhere between uh, 1.40, 1 1.41. There you go. Okay. Okay, now we'll take some measurements uh, in the units of velocity. Uh, velocity is, will be in RMS and the units are millimeters per second. Now, as you can see on the display of the meter here, we're in class one at the moment, and the readings uh, are showing that it's good. Now, if you see at the bottom of the meter here, we do have class one, class two, class three, and class four that we can choose. Uh, we have set on, on class one right now. So we will be looking at uh, readings between 0.28 millimeters per second RMS all the way up to 45 millimeters per second RMS. So let's increase our vibration levels and see what happens. Okay. Uh, right now we're say, we're seeing that it's good. Okay. Our vibration level is good. Okay. 0 0.6, 0 0.7. We're still good. 0 0.9, 1.2. Now you notice it's changed. To match with the uh, chart at the bottom it's satisfactory okay so we keep going 1.9 2.1 2.3 2.7 okay now we've changed to be unsatisfactory that matches the uh, chart at the bottom uh, we keep going okay and uh, we'll reach a point where it'll be unacceptable which is in the red Okay, so the meter will automatically um, display your ISO levels for you. Okay, that is how easy it is to use this uh, EN212 meter. Okay, so one other feature of the EN212 is that it will detect whether the sensor is connected or not. At the moment, you can see the display, it shows no sensor. Sensor is not connected, okay? So now let's connect a sensor on it and see what happens. Now observe the top of the display. Okay, now it's back to class one. So it will automatically detect 
if your sensor is connected or if your sensor has a problem. Now, if your sensor is shorted, it will also show you. Now, another feature of the EN212 is uh, if your uh, sensor is defective or if the cable is shorted, it will tell you automatically. Let's short it and see what happens. Okay, now if it's shorted, you can see there's a line across the screen and it says sensor error. Okay, now take it out and see what happens. Okay, so that's another feature of the EN212. The EN212 comes with uh, rechargeable lithium ion batteries. Now, when it comes time to recharging the batteries, um, there's uh, on the left side a USB plug uh, that you need to uh, plug the uh, charger in. I'll go ahead and plug it in. And then uh, you observe on the left side, there should be a red light. Now that red light will be illuminated and it will stay that way for at least uh, two hours, after which it will turn to green. That shows that the batteries are 100% charged. Um, and that's it. That's how easy it is.